Good afternoon. This is the OSA Quick Minute for Thursday, October 24th, 2019. Today, we want to take a deeper dive into the summary from the Delegate Assembly meeting that happened on October 14th. During the caucus item questions, the main outcome was that schools are in favor of reviewing our current mercy rules, which are the 45-point rule in football and league-adopted 10-run rule in baseball and softball. They're also interested in implementing, implementing mercy rules in sports like basketball and soccer. Throughout the state, some of the score differentials have been extremely lopsided to say the least, and in some cases, unsportsmanlike. In working with the OACA and OADA, the staff will start constructing what those modifications may be. From the voting, three major votes stand out. The first is that delegates voted unanimously to amend Article 6.2, which now allows the executive board the authority to move schools laterally within a classification if schools are entering or exiting the classification during the four-year time block. The second is a revision to the petition to play down language. This language is directly tied to a school who meets the criteria to play down, but one of their activity programs is very successful. This revision now leaves that program to stay at its originally assigned classification while the rest of the school programs drop down one level. And finally, the delegates voted unanimously to add Article 9.10, which formally establishes the Equity and Diversity Advisory Committee. This committee will work to engage all aspects of the association while applying a lens of equity. Things you want to be on your radar for the April 6th Delegate Assembly meeting are as follows. The delegates will be voting on policy changes that affect classification districting. The work from the Competition of ADM Task Force has been doing will be in front of them, which includes moving to just counting students 9 through 11, incorporating a three-year longitudinal average of enrollment, changing when the delegates will vote on classification every four years, and sets a deadline for when schools can submit additional information to be reviewed. Finally, as always, these are archived on the OSA YouTube page, and please do not hesitate to contact us at any time.